So we have our VSI, our scene is safe, we have law enforcement on scene. Um, nature of illness, we just have a suicidal patient, uh, possibly taking some uh, prescription drugs or some kind of medication. Um, so we only have one patient that we know of, and we're going to, uh, we don't really need additional help right now, but we will, uh, if requested as, as we need it, if we need it. Um, so C-spine, uh, don't feel the need to take it right now, but we will uh, assess for that and take it as needed. Uh, so we're going to assess our patient's level of consciousness. He is uh, alert to us when we come into the room. Um, when we ask him uh, his name, he tells us his name, so he's an alert person. Uh, place, he knows where he's at. He knows what time it is, and he um, knows what's, what's going on, what the event is. Um, and he's got a GCS of 15. We're going to do our initial assessment. Okay. So, patient's talking to us. We have an airway. Um, so, we're not going to worry about putting in an adjunct right now because he is controlling his own airway. Breathing. Looks like he's breathing okay. Uh, I'm going to count the respirations. Looks like it's about 20, 20 minutes. Um, you can just look at him and say, okay, you, you are breathing adequately, you're not breathing adequately, adequately. we're not hearing any noise or respirations. Um, we can ask him to, sir, do you have any difficulty breathing? He says no. Um, we are going to go ahead and get an SVO2, so we've got our monitor on at this point. We'll go ahead and put on our SVO2 monitor and determine what our SVO2 is. Um, we'll get a 4 lead as well right now, may as well, while we're setting things up. When we get the SVO2 once it starts reading, um, probably have about 94%, so we're not going to worry about uh, initiating oxygen therapy. We uh, look at the patient, he is ventilating adequately, he's breathing adequately, there's no injuries associated with the airway, um, at least not that I can see right now. We could listen to as long as we need to, but it doesn't seem to be the problem right now. And then, um, yeah, we don't need oxygen therapy, and I think that's it for breathing. So we'll go ahead and go to circulation. So we're going to assess the uh, skin CTC and cap refill. I'm going to get a pulse right now, too. Um, skin CTC looks good. Uh, cap refill looks good. Uh, pulse, say it's about 101. Um, kind of agitated because he was trying to commit suicide. So um, we are going to go ahead and get uh, blood pressure. So we don't have a blood pressure cup on this, but we do have one here. So. See if this uh, monitor works. Uh, got the same connection, so we would have managed that before we got to the scene. We would uh, try to make sure we have all our proper equipment. So we get the blood pressure. We've got our four lead on. Looks like a sinus rhythm, um, even though it's showing you assistly. And then we'll get a 12 lead as well. Um, let's go ahead and get a blood glucose core temperature. Uh, we'll start an IV. Cameras will do three start an IV. Um, we will uh, yeah. We're going to manage any injuries associated with the uh, circulatory system. If we found that his blood pressure was low, we would fill him up with uh, some fluid. If we saw any bleeding, we would control that. And uh, at this point, we'll go to D. So, or, and then we need to treat for shock. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going into shock. His heart rate's a little high, but I think it's because he's agitated. His blood pressure's good. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, make a differential diagnosis. I think he's overdosed. Um, we'll be talking to the patient at this time, like, okay, what did you overdose on? Uh, kind of do our sample history um, and all that. Uh, we would have found out that he overdosed on 60,000 milligrams of ibuprofen. Uh, didn't quite do the job. So uh, we are making our differential diagnosis of that. Uh, we don't need to defibrillate. Uh, the disability of the patient is the fact that he's got a stomach ache from the um, Broken and uh, we'll strip and flip the patient if we needed to get a height and weight. Uh, the height and weight would probably be very important for this patient if we needed RSI, so we would uh, make sure to uh, definitely get that. Strip and flip is not super important. Okay. So, going on to notifying the hospital, con report, Madison Memorial, this is Ambulance One. We are transporting a 22 year old male. He has ingested 60,000 milligrams of ibuprofen intentionally uh, to. to to commit suicide. We have a 
BP of 140 over 78, heart rate of 101, respirations of 20, oxygen saturation is 94% on room air. For relief is normal sinus rhythm. Patient is complaining of stomach pain. He has a IV line in his right forearm at a uh, 18 gauge. We are five minutes out. Um, patient has no other complaints. End report. That would do it.